Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So we had started the consanguineous mating and inbreeding all of those uh, topics. So today we are going to complete this and in this uh, we also had the topic like mutation etc. We have time and again covered mutation and all because uh, I covered it in the, uh, the chapter where we were studying Darwin and natural selection and all of those ideas. But you don't need to worry, I will uh, repeat it again because in 9.4 we are going to need the, uh, the ideas of mutation. So I will once again do it there. But today we are going to finish the 9.3 unit. So let's start with it. So yesterday I told you about the inbreeding. We had talked about two, three major terms and the difference I will just repeat once more. One was consanguineous marriages. That means marriages between close related, uh, uh, close related people, right? So that is marriage. Now these marriages are basically regulated for inbreeding and incest, right? Incest and inbreeding. Inbreeding is the progeny from these uh, mating between these close related people and because of that there are certain deleterious recessive traits that increase in the population and we had seen with the example also how they increase in a population which is often called the inbreeding depression right it is also called the inbreeding depression now let's look and this is because homozygosity increases in the uh, inbreeding process we have talked about this now what is genetic load the as you understand genetics and load there are two words so it is the difference between the fitness of an average genotype in a population and fitness of the some reference group now example lete let's let's try and look at it with an example let's take an island let me make an island this is an island and in this island there are let us suppose i'll just make different different people these are different different people that are there okay and these are people that are practicing endogamy but there is a small group which is different group these are a group of uh, let us say that in this island there are 100 people but there are 20 individuals now only doing the inbreeding etc so let us suppose that the average fitness of these red people or the remaining 80 is different from these 20 because in these 20 more you can say deleterious genes might develop they might become homozygous in them okay? and they might reduce the uh, health or fitness of those 20 reference group in this ref what is the reference group Rep reference group is jinko lekar hum we are trying to study we are trying to observe and we are collecting data right so that becomes the reference group in here hamare liye these 20 inbreeding people becomes the reference group and these 20 people's average fitness differs from the majority or majority of 80 because there is genetic load in them and what is genetic load because of inbreeding there is a uh, the the their health is compromised because the uh, when inbreeding takes place the homozygosity of recessive deleterious genes increase in the population thereby compromising the fitness right so genetic load kya ho gaya? it can be seen as reduced fitness at the population level right at the population level or jinko hum we are trying to study compared to what the population would have if all individuals had the reference high fitness genotype and reference high fitness kaise hoga when there is non uh, when there is random mating okay na that means everybody is mating with everybody right when the population si size is large and there are no chance effects so that means the evolutionary forces are acting so thoda sa you can say the the population will have a good amount of fitness levels but when we try and manipulate the environment for example when we are inbreeding kar rahe hai, we have put some restriction because of which now the, the uh, situation has changed now inbreeding is causing a compromised fitness in that group so high genetic load may put a population in danger of ext extinction obviously 
अगर जेनेटिक लोड क्या हो गया दैट मीन्स यू आर कैरिंग अ बर्डन ऑफ जीन्स और जेनेटिक्स विच आर हार्मफुल फॉर यू दैट मीन्स इफ इफ यू इफ देर आर लाइक हंड्रेड परसेंट हेल्थी जीन्स इन 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 अ रेफरेंस टाइप पॉपुलेशन एंड द द अदर पॉपुलेशन दैट वी आर स्टडिंग इट हैज ओनली यू कैन से सिक्सटी परसेंट हेल्थी जीन्स सो दैट मीन्स फोर्टी परसेंट इज द जेनेटिक लोड दैट मीन्स दे आर कैरिंग फोर्टी परसेंट अनहेल्दी जीन्स दैट इज डेंजरस फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल सो यू अंडरस्टैंड वेन वी कंपेयर एन एवरेज फिटनेस ऑफ अ हेल्दी ग्रुप विद द एवरेज फिटनेस ऑफ अ ऑफ अनदर ग्रुप दैट वी आर स्टडिंग विच कैरीज इज हार्मफुल डेलीटेरियस जीन्स विच कॉजिज देयर कॉम्प्रोमाइज फिटनेस दैट इज कॉल्ड द जेनेटिक लोड सो यू यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट क्या था राइट सो नाउ दिस स्लाइड दर एव पुट ऑन इन ब्रीडिंग ऑल्सो इन ब्रीडिंग इंक्रीज इज होमोजाइगोसिटी वी आर टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस इन द शॉर्ट रन एंड इंक्रीज इन इन ब्रीडिंग इंक्रीज इज द प्रॉबिबिलिटी विद विच ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स गेट टू कॉपीज ऑफ द रिसेसिव डेलीटेरियस जीन्स लोअरिंग फिटनेस वाया इन ब्रीडिंग डिप्रेशन सो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस क्योंकि होमोजाइगोसिटी इंक्रीज होती है देर आर चांसेस दैट रिसेसिव ट्रेट्स नाउ will start to express itself because in heterozygous condition what happens they don't uh, heterozygous condition mein they are not able to express itself so they are not that fatal but when uh, in breeding ke case mein when the there is chances that it will come in the homozygous condition more and more times they come in the homozygous condition thereby increasing the danger right so it it uh, in in uh, there is species who self fertilize unke case mein they they increase theek hai and then uh, groups which uh, uh, practice endogamy right in that case also it increase so but always it doesn't happen like that like the uh, deleterious genes increase even the good genes have the chances to increase in the population but that happens rarely because heterozygous advantage bhi to hota hai na heterozygosity also gives comes with its own advantages of better adaptability right so like that theek okay? hai now let's uh, we have seen the inbreeding depression uh, it is the decrease or loss of fitness and strength which is mainly caused due to inbreeding to kya hota hai there is compromised fitness of the individual who has been a uh, born out of a inbreeding process theek okay? hai the higher the genetic variation in a breeding population the fewer are the chances for it to suffer from inbreeding depression that means jitna zyada genetic variation rahega uh, lower would be the inbreeding depression obviously right now comes the genetic drift now this is going to be the last uh, last topic for the day okay genetic drift kya hota hai genetic and drift that means we are there is a sudden drift or you can say shift in the genetics aisa hi kuch lag raha hai sounds like that so it is also called the sewell right effect or allelic drift okay allelic drift or sewell right effect because it was this idea was given by sewell right and it says that it is a change in the frequency of existing gene variant in a population due to a random chance now what is it saying For example, if I say that uh, okay, it is saying that there is a sudden shift in the in the in the genetic uh, population, okay, and that is called the genetic drift. Now, when we were studying, we were saying that as a genetic drift, ko na ap you can call it as a chance factor. Why chance factor? Because such things doesn't happen. Uh, very often or these are rare events theek okay? hai these are rare events so they their occurrence is very less likely but even though you can say even though it is very less likely but whenever it happens it puts a lot of uh, it puts a lot of difference and thereby acts as a evolutionary force you will understand what am i trying to say why it acts as evolutionary force why it puts pressure You'll understand that because हम क्या बोल रहे हैं genetic drift में there is a you can say a a big big shift in the genetic very uh, allelic frequency of a population. For example, if I tell you an example, uh, there was a okay. Let's take a hypothetical example first. 
दिस इज एन आईलैंड इन ऑन दिस आईलैंड देर आर हंड्रेड पीपल लिविंग ठीक है मेजोरिटी ऑफ देम और लेट से नाइन्टी फाइव पीपल हंड्रेड पीपल आर देर हंड्रेड पीपल नाइन्टी फाइव पीपल आर राइट हैंडेड पीपल राइट हैंडेड एंड फाइव पीपल आर लेफ्ट हैंडेड पीपल ठीक है नाउ लेट इज सपोज दैट सम पीपल यू से फाइव पीपल लीव दिस आईलैंड नाउ एंड सेटल एट अ न्यू प्लेस एट अ न्यू आईलैंड ठीक है दे गो टू अ न्यू आईलैंड एंड सेटल देर सो new people five five new people have come to this island let me change the color okay and four of them happen to be left handed people and only one is right handed people person okay so what happens is now they reproduce they start to reproduce and the newer population will have 90% or more than that left handed people which was not the case in the original population in original population 95% of them were right handed and this is the chance factor this is the rare occurrence this is the rare event that we are talking about aisa roz to nahi ho sakta this kind of a coincidence cannot happen every day right that is why it is called a rare uh, event okay so genetic drift how it happened original population was right handed but now the newer population on island b that we are getting is left handed even though they have come from the same population but because four of the five people who were picked up were by chance left handed so this is what we call as a genetic drift so abhi fir se dekh lo genetic drift or right effect kya hota hai is the change in the frequency of existing gene variant in a population theek okay? hai so it it is caused by uh, genetic drift may cause gene variants to disappear completely and thereby reduce the genetic variation right so what happened us case mein uh, what happened original population showed certain other characters but the newer population was showing some other characters only theek okay? hai so it can also initially uh, initially rare alleles to become much more frequent uh, frequent and even fixed in the population right what happened in the island b uh, left hand was a rare thing but now it has been fixed in the population and rather in a very big percentage or proportion right so conditions kya hoti hain dekho when we were talking about uh, mendel's uh, laws and all of that when we were especially talking about the hardy weinberg law one of the conditions was that the population size has to be large so that the chance factors doesn't play a part because if aise chance factors occur and if the population size is small then it is going to create a much bigger impact right wo mango wala example that we took so similarly ab hame chance if if we have to make the chance factor work so what will happen we need a population size that is small right so that is one thing and isolated that means other kind of evolutionary forces should not play that means mutation should not play a part and all of that theek okay? hai so one uh, thing is this now comes at uh, one example that i have given you is uh, it's a it's a it's an example real life example uh, of a small population that migrated uh, from germany to pennsylvania and they remained all, almost socially isolated from rest of the group in the sense that they used to practice endogamy and not uh, really marry outside their own group and th- this was a small population so in a course of time the the next progeny developed six fingered dwarfism now what is six fingered dwarfism the ek to they were dwarf in height that was one thing and instead of five fingers they developed six fingers along with certain heart mal- malformations so that is why it is popularly called as six fingered dwarfism theek okay? hai so they they became dwarf and they developed six fingers so what happened is the original population even though this allele this recessive trait in their population was present in the original population also but because the population size was large this uh, trait may have remained only uh in the in the heterozygous format because the allele was maybe you can say recessive it did not express itself 
but when this population size became small in the other place and they when they started to interbreed amongst themselves this might have taken the this uh, could have taken a homozygous situation to homozygous hone lag gaya hoga and then that recessive trait started to surface in the population so you understand how it grow so this is the effect of inbreeding and also ye inbreeding ka bhi example hai also genetic drift ka because the original population of amish people did not have this problem but because they shifted to another place and they started to live a newer life that the or they drifted from the original population now their genetic genetics did not match the original population the variation the frequency of alleles had changed theek okay? hai so in this we study two uh, ideas that is the bottleneck effect and the uh, founder effect now this i told you this example is you can say this is called the founder effect now how it is called the founder effect i'll tell you jab kya hua when they shifted from uh, island a to island b they set up a new or they were the founder in that place theek hai and what happened in the founder uh, they what what kind of allelic frequency that there there was in the original population it kind of changed theek hai so it changed and they, thereby they set up a founder effect that means they when they went to the new island uh, the population or allelic frequency or genetic frequency of that uh, genetic variation had now changed theek hai so this is founder effect now le let me tell you about the bottleneck effect also so bottleneck effect mein kya let's take the same hypothetical example only now this was island a and only 95 people are left on this so one is uh, the left hand dead person and 94 are the right handed people on that island a right now let us suppose that uh, from these 95 people uh let's say 70 die theek hai so how many are left only 25 people are left theek hai and in this 70 people that die because some pandemic comes and 75 people die now theek hai and that one left one left handed person also dies in this population now what will happen only right handed people will be left now itna zyada i gave you a hypothesis that is why it is called a chance factor because ye these are rare events they are not going to occur every day right so iska uh, effect on the evolutionary force also is very minimal but even then if sometimes it is there it creates a difference in the genetic uh, 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 frequency right so only 20 uh, 20 25 people are left and all right handed thereby changing the allelic frequency of the original population so this is called the bottleneck effect and the founder effect i also have told you that when they go to a next place and set up uh, or isme aap amish people ki example bhi le sakte ho even when they went to a newer place what happened they developed the six fingered dwarfism that is also the founder effect theek hai so i hope you have understood this topic and this was uh, it uh, we have finished 9.3 tomorrow we are going to start with 9.4 usme there are a lot of uh, mutation related uh, diseases i think that we are going to study and therein i am going to first revise the mutation part and then we'll uh, start with it right so guys if you did like it please like share and subscribe thank you